we begin with a gorgeous property right off of Park Avenue. Hi, I'm Natalie Baghdadi with Bracha, New York at Keller Williams, NYC. Natalie. Hi, Kathy. Welcome to 55 East 87th Street. We're in apartment 7J. This looks absolutely spectacular. Let's take a look. So, Kathy, welcome to this bright and spacious living room. Oh, it really is bright, yes. which to me has so much appeal. I remember I always selected where I was going to live based on sunshine. Yes, we are facing south, so you get great natural light and great sunshine in the morning. We also have this really large living room space with a separate dining area as well as living. And it just feels so open to me. It really is. We have a sprawling 1,422 square feet here, so it's a very spacious unit. They have a four-seater here, but I could see a six-seater. And over here, this living space really is quite generous. It really is, definitely a large size. Natalie, everything seems so spacious to me. Is this a two-bedroom, three-bedroom? What is it? We're actually in a two-bedroom, two-bath but we have a dining alcove that was converted into an office space, which could potentially be a third bedroom. That's interesting to me. Can I take a look at that? Of course, let's go see it. Okay. So this used to be a dining alcove. Yes, this is actually connecting to the kitchen area, oh. but now they made it into a lovely home office with lovely French doors, and you can close this off and make it a guest room, an totally. office space, a third bedroom. It's really versatile. Which I love. I love the fact that it could be really a flexible space. Right. Either keep it as a home office, be perfect for guests, but what I'm really loving is this over here. Yes, this room is right off of the Grand Terrace, which Grand is Terrace. really huge. And let's take a look at it. Grand. Yes. Absolutely fantastic. Now there are a couple of things I'm noticing. One is Central Park. Yes, you have the Central Park Reservoir to the right of us. You have this really large, spacious terrace. Now with this building, it looks really interesting architecturally. Yes, this is actually a synagogue and it owns the air rights, so your views are going to always be unobstructed. They can't build above it, which is really great. No, I love that and I have to say I'm really loving this terrace. I mean, just to feel the sunshine on my face, you know, maybe if you're enjoying morning coffee, right. or dining al fresco, love the outside. Yes, it's it's a very, very spacious terrace. I'd love to see a little bit more on the inside. Yeah, let's go take a look. Right? Mm -hmm. okay. Let's go look. So, Kathy, here we are in this enormous master bedroom with an ensuite bathroom. One of the things that I always kind of expect in a master bedroom is to see a king size bed. And so, to be able to see the king bed, the nightstands, the dresser, mm -hmm. the chest, tells me this room is really gracious and spacious. It is. Kathy, you could fit a California king in this room. <laughs> Now we have a second bedroom, right? Yes. Okay. Let's go take a look. This is a really spacious second bedroom. Yes, we are here in the second bedroom, which is adjacent to the master bedroom, and you have a lot of space in here as well. When it comes to second bedrooms, I don't like when it's kind of an afterthought, or can I fit a bed or not fit a bed? Right. This is very clear to me that you can clearly make this a second bedroom, which Definitely. I love. Definitely. It's a real full-size second bedroom. Now there's one thing that I haven't seen. My kitchen! Yes, let's go through a look. <laughs> oh wow, I didn't know that this was an eating kitchen. Yes, you have a lovely little breakfast bar here. Oh, it's so cute. And well, it extends all the way over here. Very spacious. This is a surprise, the fact that you have this whole area here. Yeah, it is. It's a really large kitchen. Extremely large kitchen. You know what's interesting about this to me is all this kind of almost storage. You see all of the cabinets and everything yeah. like that. It almost makes me wonder uh, about closet space. Do you have a lot of closets? Kathy, the storage space in this apartment is phenomenal. Really? Yeah, I'd love to show it you. Okay. Okay. So the first closet actually holds the washer and dryer, which is a lovely asset to the apartment. Absolutely. Yes, this is actually grandfathered in. Not all the units come with an ensuite washer dryer, which mm. is great. No, I have to have a washer and dryer. Okay, so what else? So we have four walk-in closets and more. <laughs> Let me show you the walk-ins. Beginning with the first large foyer closet. Wow. In the hallway closet, we have two really large closets, a walk-in here. Wow. As well as this really enormous closet as well. Amazing. More big closets in the master? Yes, another walk-in. Oh my goodness. As well as a double closet here. No way. Yep, deep closets everywhere. And last but not least, we have this enormous closet. Oh my goodness, this is like a hidden room. Ah! Natalie, I have to 
say I'm wowed and a bit surprised by all of that closet space. How would you sum it up? So we are here in this ideal location right off of Park and Madison Avenue in prime Upper East Side. You have a two bedroom with a home office, two full bathrooms, a spacious, double exposure, gorgeous apartment. Well, that sounds fantastic. Coming up, our Brooklyn real estate expert, Donald Brennan, takes us to one of the largest undertakings in the history of real estate, Pacific Park in Brooklyn. Up next.